You know, when you need help in Multnomah County, there are several different numbers to call. Most people don't know that. Elise Haas following up on uh, the investigative report on Portland's struggling emergency medical system. And now she's going beyond 911 with what other phone numbers you should know. 911 is ingrained in everyone since childhood. So here in Multnomah County, knowing the right numbers to call, though, for help is crucial. Instead of relying solely on 911, there are specific lines for different situations. 911, what's the address of your emergency? 911 dispatchers are working hard to keep up with the increasing number of calls in Multnomah County. The speed at which we have to work can be difficult at times because emergencies, they don't wait. You have to go and you have to get people the help as fast as possible. I showed you how 911 hold times are longer than they should be and found out your call may be tying up a dispatcher when it shouldn't. It's saying I'm pretty sure that it's in this so, area. Dispatchers say the number one thing delaying response to 911 emergencies is when callers don't say or don't know their exact address. We can try and send you help as much as possible, but if we don't have the right location, we can't get you the help that you need. Erica Madrigal has 16 years of experience as a dispatcher at Portland's Bureau of Emergency Communications. I think the misconception is with a lot of location. People think we know exactly where they are. And so when we ask you what's the location of your emergency, if you know your address, if you know your apartment number, if you know a landmark, that gets things going so much faster. 911 is the number to call for life-threatening medical emergencies, crimes in progress, fires, or Portland street response. For situations that aren't immediately life-threatening, like stolen cars or past crimes, use the non-emergency line. However, many residents are calling 911 and non-emergency for other reasons that are better handled by 211 navigators. The 211 team has 150 dedicated staff working around the clock to connect residents to resources for social services. Online support is available too in more than 240 languages. We are available 24 hours a day and folks that are seeking community resources in their area um, throughout the state of Oregon and Southwest Washington can call 211 and have a free confidential and live uh, person answer their phone call in any questions they have. 211 can point you in the right direction to find help with housing, health care, child care, food banks, utility assistance and more. But there's a misconception in the community that 211 wants to clear up. Their role is to connect people to resources, not provide resources. Our sole service is providing the information about the service and then a referral to the service. So if someone does have a question about where they might need to make a complaint or be redirected to, we are those information providers and we will get folks connected to the right place at the right time. Housing requests account for nearly half of 211's call volume. People are asking for shelter, help with paying rent, their mortgage, or legal assistance for eviction prevention. Right now, the need outweighs the services available. But we take that information back to elected officials and stakeholders and funders to let them know these are the top requests in your county. But what if you see a problem at a public park, a pothole, or a downed tree obstructing a road? Then 311 is your single point of access to help with any questions about local government service needs within Multnomah County. So basically, um, we take calls on a wide range of issues. Some examples include homeless camping on public property, abandoned vehicles, noise complaints, graffiti complaints. You can call 311 to report issues or request services. Call takers can help answer questions, assist with requests, and take reports. You're more than welcome to call us and we'll probably be able to help you or at least directly to the right place. So in summary, 911 is for emergencies requiring police, fire, ambulance, or Portland street response immediately. Then non-emergency is to report past crimes where a suspect is no longer at the scene. Then 211 is the info center to connect you to social services. And then finally 311 is to report a problem to the city or county or request government services. Now, Elise has spent months digging into the issues with calling for help in Multnomah County, and you can see all of her reporting right now at coin.com.